Hey there. Welcome to Two Blues Licks in Five Minutes, episode one, two, three, four, five. I think this is episode seven. In all of these episodes, I've mentioned the pentatonic scale. I haven't I haven't really emphasized whether this is a major or a minor pentatonic scale. We've been we've been doing a G minor. minor pentatonic scale in the first form. In any case, we'll, we'll get into in later episodes about how uh, major and minor fit together uh, as far as the pentatonic scale and, and, and whatnot. Um, you, might, you might ask too, well, what this is G minor, can I play it over uh, a happy G major progression? So here's a G chord, and you've got this third note of the scale here, this B, and G, A, B is that third note in the major. But if you look at this G minor scale that we've been doing, G minor pentatonic, it's got a B flat in it. Okay, So that's, the, there's a couple of iffy notes. So if you're playing a G major, and we're playing a blues scale, sound good against that G major. But we've been playing a, a kind of rooted, which is which is can be either minor or major, this progression. Okay, we're not accenting that B note, so we can get by using G minor pentatonic over that progression without any problems. But if we're playing a happy-go-lucky country western tune with a, a G major in it, and you're, you're playing some G minor pentatonic notes against it, soloing or whatever, you, you, you may want to stay away from that B flat because gives it that minor bluesy feel, and this is a happy country western song. Left the truck out back by the motorcycle And I ain't got a nothing, I ain't got a pickle nah. No, it ain't gonna fit there, okay? But it will fit in something like this. So that's, that's the difference in a nutshell kind of between playing the major minor stuff and you just have to watch out you'll you'll hear that some notes just don't fit um, without getting into a lot of theory and, and smoke coming out of my ears uh, I'll leave it at that um, there's some notes you can play in a G minor pentatonic while you're doing major and, and vice versa some things will sound better but in reality you can use a lot of the G minor pentatonic notes when you're playing over a major progression so noodle with it, and we'll get into more of that later. Now another thing to note with the G minor pentatonic scale is that there are certain chords within, within the scale that are right there, um, and you can play out of them. They go against, the scale will work perfectly against those chords. You can obviously see G minor, right there in the scale. Oops. If you look here, you're barring the third fret. Well, what is that? That's a B flat chord. It was right there. Okay. And of course, B flat is one of the notes in the G minor pentatonic scale. So you've got that chord right there. And also, these notes are right there in the scale, which is a C chord, okay? So you can see you've got G minor here, you've got a B flat notes, you've got C notes, okay? Now with the G minor pentatonic in first form that we've been working on in the previous lessons, all of those notes, it's five notes, okay? One, two, three, four, five, and then back to the G again, and it just repeats. Pento, five, pent, five, pento, pinto, pinto beans. 
<laughs> um, is it lunchtime? <laughs> is it time for lunch yet? I swear, man, I'm hungry. He's been talking all day. I, I gotta make sure the wires are in place and everything. Yeah. I'm hungry. I need love, love, some love. So, the, the forms, this first form, second form, third form, fourth form, fifth form, um, as we work our way up the neck, really all we're doing is repeating these notes in different places on the neck. And we're adding, of course, the higher notes of the scale as we work our way up. Um, same way if you work down, you know, if, if you're in a in B minor pentatonic or B minor chord right here, B minor pentatonic scale, and you work your way down playing the different forms of a B minor pentatonic, you're going to be repeating a lot of the notes and you'll be adding lower notes onto the scale. <laughs> I just found some Velcro in my in my hair. I don't know where it came from. It's probably one of the one of the cable ties. Oh, but I don't know. What else am I going to, maybe I'll find some lunch in my hair.